It all began in the Bronx in New York City, where Bill was born in 1953. You can do the math. His family moved a short time after that and took up residence in Kingsville, Texas. That's where Bill spent his childhood. Early on, he had a different career in mind. All right. I always tell the story when I was in sixth grade. I was sitting next to Gilbert Roman and I always wanted to be a civil engineer, wanted to build bridges. And so Gilbert says, what do you want to be? I said, I'm going to be a civil engineer. I'm going to build bridges. He said, I said, what are you going to do, Gilbert? He said, I'm going to be a disc jockey. I'm going to spin records. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, that's pretty fun. Ended up being a disc jockey. One thing led to another, led to the TV business. Bill would go on to earn a journalism degree at Texas A&I, which of course is now Texas A&M Kingsville. After getting his first job in radio, he moved over to television in 1978 for his first tour at KIII as a news reporter and assignment editor. But after a few years, he moved to San Antonio to take a radio job. Yep. Worked, uh, one of my goals was always to work at KTSA and was up there for in the early 80s. Very radio fun. Station. Yeah, the radio station, right. you bet. When they still did news. Eventually, he made his way back to Corpus Christi and became sports director at <clears throat> another TV station. But he wound up suffering a fate that many of us have shared. He got fired. He wasn't defeated, though. Bill started working at the Corpus Christi Greyhound racetrack as an announcer before getting another chance at TV in 1992. Oh, yeah. Here comes Breezy. I remember that. Here comes Breezy. And I remember writing a letter to you. I wrote a letter to you and to Mr. McKinnon and to Rob Dean, the news director at the time. And I'm looking for something part-time. And I remember the news director uh, saying, well, come on in. We need somebody to do weather during Good Morning America on Monday and Tuesday morning. You interested? So I've never done weather. So oh, you've been on TV. You can do it. <laughs> So I went in for a screen test. I stunk. I was bad with a capital B. Got a call the next day, you're hired. And for several years, he would deliver the morning weather forecast on 3 News First Edition. Hi everybody, Bill Vesey here. Much of that time alongside our morning anchor, Regina Garcia. Beyond being you know, that great partner that you wanted at three in the morning on the morning show, he was just a great friend and always the best storyteller and could relate to every person that came across the newsroom and to every story and it's such a connection to our community. First edition is where he would greet viewers every morning with his signature phrase, Buenos dias amigos. Of course, that greeting would have to change when he made the move to the evening team. Hey, Bill. You say there, Joe. Hi, everybody. Back in the mothership. Hola, amigos. All right. Our front For more than free. 10 years, Bill has served as our chief meteorologist and helped the Coastal Bend get through some difficult times. So the extreme winter weather ahead of this way, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, again, we'll reiterate, we're looking at some of the coldest temperatures we've seen in 40 years. Whether it be a tornado or straight line winds or bad uh, uh, or hurricanes, any of that stuff, uh, Bill is the master at being able to interpret our weather and to then uh, pass that interpretation, that knowledge on to the audience in a way that is just astounding. That's former TV3 news director Richard Longoria. He says Bill always had a knack for connecting with people in person and on the air. Now we had the cheerleaders on earlier and here they are sharing their Christmas. Let's open the truck and see what kind of donation we have. He immediately can reach out to individuals in their homes and make them feel that he is talking directly to them and no one else. Well, my most memorable is during Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. And we were making the point that as late as Sunday, we could still be looking at Category 2 uh, winds. And now we're going to 4. August 25th of 2017, a week of hurricane tracking, all leading up to landfall later that night. Chief Meteorologist Bill Vesey had been following Harvey's track over the Yucatan Peninsula and watching the storm reform in the Gulf of Mexico. The problem is Harvey is now expected to re-strengthen. When it mattered most, 
The coastal bend looked to Bessie for reassurance. I would have to check back in with Bill Bessie and see exactly how strong the winds are right now. And we were on the desk, and I remember saying, I have news. We're all going to be okay. And everybody, I just felt a calming influence. I don't know if just us or out there, but I thought it was the right thing to say. And it turned out to be true. It turned out to be true. When Bill was talking to us about Harvey, he was being as transparent as he could be and giving you the truth and not adding any fear to what was going to come our way. And he was, was unbelievably someone you, you can always trust. Bill, you know, I've got 100% confidence in him. Of course, Joe McComb was mayor of Corpus Christi during that time and was responsible for making critical decisions for the whole area. 99% of that information was based on what we'd get from Bill and others about what the situation was with the storm, where it was going, when it was coming, and uh, the threat to us and our, our citizens. Two years later, Bill would go through a crisis of his own. Many of you have been asking where our Bill Vesey has been and why he's been off the air for the last few weeks. He would suffer what turned out to be a hemorrhagic stroke. It happened in November of 2019, and it took him off the air for about three months. What was it like for you? The stroke was awful. I still have weakness. I still can't grip very good. Still a little bit. But I'm 95%. Yeah, that's all right. I can deal with that. A lot of people have problems worse than that. And the way Bill tells it, folks here in the Coastal Bend helped him get through that difficult time. Yeah, the outpouring. I mean, I still have people asking me, how are you feeling? You doing okay? And it was, you know, and, and that's the impact you have on people. You don't even, you don't think about that. But, uh, you know, you're in people's houses every night and they know you, they know us. You're a I guest mean, in someone's home. Yeah, I say yeah. That. Bill Vesey. He, he was already a legend in the Coastal Bend by the time I got here. That was nine years ago, 2012. As for who will be taking over for Bill. Some patchy fog, a little bit of mist may make things a touch damp this morning. Well, it's 3 News First Edition meteorologist Alan Holt. He says Bill always helped to instill confidence in his ability to forecast the weather. But I'll always remember that, you know, um, if I started getting worried about a storm, I'd call him up, give him my thoughts, and, and it seemed like every single time after I gave my thoughts, he would say, I agree. You're gonna be okay not being on the air? Oh yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to retirement. I'm sure I'll miss it a little bit, uh, but um, um, uh, this is my 50th year of doing it. And so uh, the time has come. And so with that, we say, Adios, amigo, to our longtime friend and colleague, a true South Texas legend. <laughs> South Texas, it's, it's the best, you know, all the time down here. You know, we, we did pretty good for ourselves, made a nice little careers for ourselves I down believe, here. I believe you're right about that. And we're longtime friends, but I just want to express my best wishes to you for a happy retirement. <laughs> Do whatever you want to do. Yeah, I am. And uh, thank you so much. Longtime friend. I mean, we go back into the 70s. Yep. And uh, yeah, so yeah, hope, hope we can stay friends. We absolutely will. Good luck, Bill. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, everybody. Mm -hmm.